Welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Well, he chose to bypass rock and roll and that lifestyle after three albums and a full schedule of touring the world and focus on composing in the classical way. We're talking about Nathan Felix and he's joining us this morning about really uh, quite an adventure. You went from rock and roll to, to symphony, right? I did, I did. It, it was uh, eight years in the making. It was a, a lot of challenges, a lot of headaches, but I just decided one day touring around the country yeah. that I want to do something bigger than punk rock. I want, I want to make sort of an imprint, not only on my musical soul, but just, you know, maybe in the world, so. It's interesting, you've got a brother and a sister, two parents, not, nobody inclined as far as music except you. Yeah, that's right. I'm not sure where that came from. I, I think I wanted to be different than maybe everybody in my family. So I yeah. thought, let me just pick up an instrument and learn it. And uh, one thing's led to another. So. And it's interesting as well that you're self-taught. So you self-taught yourself all the music. And then when it came to symphony, that was also self-taught. That was. And that was a huge challenge. I was sort of naive thinking, oh, I just throw a couple notes together. It'll be easy. And I had to learn very slowly that you know, each instrument has its own sort of qualities mm -hmm. that makes it unique to the orchestra. And yeah. yeah, I had to learn it all, so. And the name is The Cross, uh, The Curse, The Cross, The Lion. What's behind the name? Um, the Curse, The Cross, and The Lion, it, it's, it's a cinematic symphony. So I wanted something that people could relate to mm -hmm. and, you know, pull each word and it meant something general and it meant something uh, that that they could visualize in their head mm -hmm. what this story could be about. So when you listen to it, uh, I think the listener can get lost and create their own story, sort of like uh, classical music, mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, the great symphonies of all time, but, but this one a new, a new story, so. You went to New York City, right, to record? I did, I actually went to, it was uh, Western New York, around, yeah. around New York City, so. Uh, no one in all of the region of the South, all the orchestras I reached out to, really would pay attention to what I was trying to do, yeah. which was record it or perform it. And a friend of mine, Andre Luzada, uh, actually he wasn't a friend at the time, but he reached out to me and said, come to New York and do this and we'll do it with my, my orchestra up here and you know, forget, about, forget about the South and Texas and everywhere else you know, yeah. that's rejecting you. So, so. But why do you think that? Why do you think the South rejected you when it came to this? And, and I think, uh, I think it has a lot to do, I didn't have anything to show for myself. And I, I was naive. It was me that thought, oh, everybody should open up their door to, to record this. And, and, and I didn't realize that, hey, you know, maybe I have to pay some dues here. And it was very humbling. And, and I, I think that now the journey and getting through all that rejection, yeah. I think it really helped me and gave me a better perspective on it. Yeah. Now, what does your family think? Since they're not musically inclined, when they, I'm sure they've listened to it, right? What'd your mom say? Um, she, she, of course loves it and you know she thinks that oh we sh a ballet you know yeah. should go to this or theater and, and and I mean I think she just is happy if, for anything that I that I yeah, do so that you do what was the most challenging part you said it was hard because it is self-taught it was eight years in the making what do you find to be the most challenging part of doing a symphony well there are a lot of challenging parts but I think really I think teaching yourself uh, every single instrument in the orchestra by yourself is something that that it takes a lot of time and, 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 a, and a lot of effort and a lot of reading it's like going back to school and yeah. and and that's hard to do once you've already gone to school <laughs> so that well where can people get this this is what I want to know Nathan um, you can find it through my website uh, which is the curse the cross the line dot com and and vinyl and CD is available through there and then you can also get an iTunes stream it on Spotify Amazon, really a lot of places on the web. Okay, there's the website as well, the curse the cross the lion dot com. Uh, a great gift for Christmas, especially for those classical music lovers in your life. Uh, what's next, Nathan? Well, next is Symphony Number no. Two, and okay. that will probably be recorded this uh, upcoming spring in 2014. And you know, add on a hundred piece choir. You know, why yeah. not? Why not? And go then come back now? and perform it here. Would love to do that. Would love to debut it in Alabama. That would be that would be beautiful. Nathan, so. thanks so much for your time. Oh, thank you very much. Nathan Felix, everybody, go on and pick it up for yourself. The Curse, the Cross, and the Lion. Coming up next on Talk of Alabama.